Hello Pond fans, this is Carl the Landscape Guy. Thank you for the many responses regarding my video to build this natural pond. If you haven't, you can check it out by clicking on this link. Now some time has passed since building it and I have made some changes to the pond I would like to show you. I'll also show you what plants I used for this natural pond and I will put in two new koi fish today. Last fall, I mowed the shore of the pond once to have it clean for the winter and to avoid the growth of woody plants like willow and birch. It is now the end of April and all plants have begun to grow. Here we see the area of the swamp irises. They can get up to one meter tall and I put them in the back of the pond as a group. This way they don't disturb the view onto the water surface and frame the pond in the natural way. In water depth of about 60 to 80 centimeters, I have set pond and water lilies. The water lily is already showing a few leaves. The blue iris siberica comes out too. This plant will be more comfortable during the summer when the water level is slightly lower because it's not really a water plant. It likes more fresh and moist soils. Between reeds and cotton grass, the frogs feel very comfortable. The early flowering buck bean is almost showing the flowers and it offers protection with its rhizomes projecting into the water, which is good for frogs and fish. Especially the kois like to stay here. As you can see, the fish also like to stay around the old tree root. The animals have settled in well and apparently feel well too. Altogether there are 10 fish in this 300 square meter large pond. In order to have the pump without filter and pump continuously working well, I feed the fish only occasionally. They can find enough food in the mud and among the aquatic plants, just as they are supposed to as real carps. A couple of goldfish have been fetched from the herons, but I guess that's how it goes in a natural pond. Nevertheless, I decided to build a heron fence in order to protect the fish population. For this I have formed these rods with eyelets made of sturdy wire. A fishing line now runs three times around the pond and discourages the herons successfully already quite a while. The design ensures a high degree of flexibility. From a few feet away, the heron fence is barely visible and it disappears visually around the natural environment. Today I put two more young koi into the pond. For that I make sure that the water is not too cold and the animals have enough time to get used to the new water type. These koi probably swim the first time in the natural, more turbid pond water. I hope they will be fine like the others who have already grown a lot in just a few months. In this area there is the connection of the pond to the rainwater ditch which briefly leads rainwater. This water enables a natural way of keeping the water level up especially during a hot summer. As the rainwater ditch mostly only briefly leads a lot of water. I have also installed this return flap. Now the water cannot drain out of the pond back into the ditch after rainfall and the water level can be kept relatively stable even in hot summers. The flap also prevents fish or other animals from getting stuck in the pipe. Overall, I'm very satisfied with this almost maintenance-free pond. If you're interested in videos about water streams, ponds and landscaping works, feel free to visit my channel. If there are news about the koi's or changes made to this pond, I will gladly upload a video update. I look forward to your comments and I would appreciate a thumb up. Thanks for watching, good luck with your projects and until next time, I'm Carl the Landscape Guy.